Hey, this is YBR with Locked in Syndrome. It's one of those really cheap horror games you can find on Steam, and we got a warning right here. All the characters are fictional. Any similarity with reality is coincidence. This game is not dangerous for the psyche. The game is recommended for persons over 16 years. All rights reserved. Okay, and I should probably point out that this is a blind playthrough, meaning this is the first time I've ever played the game, because when you're playing a scary game, it's no fun saying, oh, right around this corner here, we have a spooky monster that goes ooga booga. Now, you just gotta jump into it like this. And that was kind of cool, the menu, what it just did right there, it looked like a normal room, and then it like got super deteriorated super fast. And then it looks like, uh, like this. Let's see, controls, and we cannot change them or anything. These are just, here are the controls, whether you like it or not. Oh, that's kind of interesting. If you look at the menu right here, that is what we were looking at. It just kind of moves the camera, doesn't it? That's kind of neat. And graphic settings is kind of the same thing, because that's the bed, and that's a light that's in front of the bed. What about continue? There's the bed with me on it. And apparently we can continue right here, although that's just the first level, so I think we should probably just do new game just in case, like, it skips an intro or something, because I know some games might do that. Kind of an interesting transition right there, the way it just kind of uh, disappears like that. Interesting looking. And it looks like we are on a boat. And we're just kind of just, just sitting on a boat. Maybe heading toward that island over there. Or maybe not. It's hard to tell if the boat's actually moving. I think it might be. Got another. Oh! I thought it was going to be another uh, transition, but it's not. It's the name. Studio... 48 because the first 47 attempts didn't go well but number 48 they nailed it and they made a video game at least that's what i'm guessing the name comes from i really have no clue i think the island is getting ever so slightly closer present isn't it usually presents like i swear usually it's blah 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 presents not blah 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 present Unless it says present to you or something. I don't know. We got some words coming. And it's going to be the name of the game. Locked in syndrome. Just like I said. And there it goes. Disappearing. And yeah, we have definitely gotten closer to the island. We were on the island and... Alright, I guess that was kind of like a level load right there because I went black and then boom, here we are. So it says, do not touch the water. You can't tell me what to do! Apparently that uh, kills ya. Alright, let's, uh, let's not do that then. Hey, look at this though, I'm touching the water and it's not killing me. I guess just don't touch the deep water, huh? Can you push these boxes or anything? No, how about this thing? Can you push this thing? Yes! I think you can lift it up too. Yeah, there we go. Well, goodbye! He's dead. He touched the water. What about that can? Can we pick up the can? Pick up the can. Just like Half-Life, man. See, I always, I always buy these games, you know? I always wonder, maybe someday, one random game on Steam that nobody buys is actually Half-Life 3 with a different name and it's part of a Valve like ARG and nobody realized it yet and I just might happen to come across that game buy it and be the very first person to play Half-Life 3 you never know it might happen someday and I'm trying to look at the name on this thing but that appears to be in Russian so I cannot read that because it's not even like uh, normal characters they use in the English uh, alphabet but this is like an upside down train car we're in kind of interesting oh and apparently this thing wants to crush me ah can't crush me whoa that was um kind of strange. So I was uh like right here, and it pushed me through the wall back into the train. Okay. Oh look at that! Yeah, textures are fighting, man. Hmm. Can we push that barrel into the water? Yeah. <laughs> Can't push the bench though. Oh, we gotta jump. <laughs> Good jump. Good jump. I see an arrow pointing down. Does that mean I have to go down below? Like, is there something there? Gotta be sneaking. Careful. Yeah, okay, so there's a ledge down there we can go down. Although, can we make this thing, like, jump up here? Nah, it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Double check the other side, too, just in case. 
nope, looks like we do have to go down. And hopefully there's a way back up. Okay, careful. 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 There you go. And I see a ladder. I guess, is this just going back up to where I was, though? No, this is up above. This is where I wanted to go. Perfect. Huh, I heard a kind of strange noise to my right. I guess just uh, imagining it. Or part of ambience. So we have a button right here. It's, um, there we go. It's E to use it, not F. And the buttons are on, once again, not English. I want to say Russian, but I honestly don't know for certain. You know, I just can tell this is acrylic alphabet. I think there are multiple languages that use that, if I'm correct. So, yeah, that's different. Anyways, I made a bridge because I'm an architect. So now I can go ahead and cross that bridge. And it didn't tell you in the, the uh, menu, but you can run and crouch. Like, I figured that out because it's the same controls every game uses for running crouch, basically. But uh didn't tell you that. Is that like a lever? No, it's just a piece of metal sticking out. Okay. Ladder. But it shows stairs. How confusing. Ooh, a power cable. Follow the power. All right, so the power goes to that light over there. Now, what's, what's which actually the power cable coming from? So that thing right there somehow generates power. I don't know exactly how, but apparently it generates power. Okay. And over here we have a boat. We're going full on stranded deep now. And I guess probably don't want to go down there because that's just the water. We're probably just going to have to jump and get to the light. Or not. Oh. Oh, the boat's sinking. The boat is sinking. Get off the boat. And it stopped sinking? Is it because I'm not on it? No, it just stopped sinking. I didn't have to rush it or anything. We could go back and look at the boat more if we wanted to, but I don't think there's a reason to. Instead, let's look at the statue. Or not look at the statue. I didn't touch it. You saw I did not touch the statue. What's this? I want to help you get out of here. And then you have the same words in a different language. Okay. We got a flashlight and a weapon, which is basically just, it looks like a pipe. That flashlight sound. That is, that sounds like Half-Life. I swear to you, that flashlight sounds, sounds just like Half-Life. Listen to this right here. Doesn't that sound just like Half-Life? Guys, this game is secretly Half-Life 3 and nobody realized it. I'm the first person to figure it out. This is Half-Life 3. I thought it was suspicious that I was running on the Source 2 engine, but I thought it was just a coincidence. It's not really running on the Source 2 engine as far as I know. Like, I don't know what engine it's running, but I highly doubt it's Source 2. Flashlight back on. Dark tunnel. And got another uh, statue right there. And another statue here. Oh! This one's head moves and it talks and there's a subtitle, but the subtitle doesn't match up with what he said. The subtitle said help me, but he said help us human. Hi! This is kind of strange. I'm going to hit you with my, uh, you know what? I'm going to call it a crowbar because we have the flashlight from Half-Life, so this is just a crowbar, basically. I know it's not a crowbar, but I'm going to call it that. And apparently it doesn't do anything. Like, his thumb is twitching. Like, he has a trigger finger or something. Like, if he had a controller in his hand and we had a game... Whoa. Okay, you can go away now. Go away. The box is creeping up on me right here. But if he had a controller in his hand, you could put his finger right there and it would just click the button for you. And you could kick something. Like, this guy's twitchy, man. Alright, so who's throwing boxes at me, huh? Uh, I guess the boxes just kind of float. Whoa, goodbye, box. Just hit that one into the air. Got another note here. Have you seen them? Stay away from them. You mean that guy? He, he couldn't move, dude. He's, he's not a threat. Um, okay, we could go left or right. Uh, I'll go with left. How did a tree grow here? How does that even happen? Apparently that's a dead end, so let's not go left. Let's go right, which is now my left again. Got a button! I can't use it, there's no electricity. 
Oh, well, how do you get electricity? I should actually, you know what? There was a power cable. I bet if I followed that, it might help. So, power cable. Uh, never mind. It doesn't go anywhere. It just stops. Ah, I see. There's a ladder. You know, video game ladders are one of those things. You never quite know how to approach them the first time. You never do. Especially going down them. I don't think I've gone down a ladder yet. But you never quite know what you're supposed to do. Because all the games seem to do it slightly differently. Guess we got an arrow pointing this way. So let's go this way. Danger. Bad doggy. Bad doggy. No. No. Bad dog. Bad. I hear spooky music now. Is there like more enemies in here? Yeah, there's a bad doggy. Bad doggy, no. Is that it? That's it. Up, oh, nope. The hitboxes seem a little uh difficult to manage. Like it seems like you're gonna get hit most of the time. Okay, is that it? I think that's it. The music stops, so I'm assuming they're all dead. Hey, is that the power cable? Cool. I guess I could have followed it, kind of. How did a tree grow here? Trees grow all over the place here, apparently. Real careful. Follow the power cable. Yeah, let's really follow it, right? Oh, I can't fit. Get okay, over the thing. We go. What is this thing, anyway? It's just like a tube or something. It's cut in half. How odd. Anyways, follow the power cable. And it's in there. I thought that was an enemy for a second. You tricked me. I almost pulled out my wrench and hit you. I mean, my crowbar. I'm calling it everything because I keep forgetting it's a pipe. <laughs> uh, and then we have something that says super fun ahead. I can tell because I can read this. It says super fun ahead. Need a key. Okay. Key, 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 key. Key! There's a key. First I thought it was like a shadow, but it's not. It's a painting. Ah, key! His texture changed. Well, and now he's disintegrating. That's right, you better disintegrate. You too. Oh, his head moves too. What? What? It's my key. Go away. Be more like this dude. He don't watch me. He don't have a head. It's a pretty loud door. Squeaks either way. Ooh, we could like click it and it makes a lot of noise. Listen to that. I was so dumb. And for some reason, the sign's upside down on that side. That's kind of like... Like, that's physics breaking right here. Like, how does it do that? Like, how can you not see the other side of the sign? This is spooky, man. Oh my goodness, that's a spooky sign. Like, I should be able to see the outline of the triangle, but I don't. And it's upside down. Super spooky. Aha, let there be lights. Or not. I guess it's just power. Okay. Gotta make our way back. Okay, how are these trees just growing concrete so easily? Like, I tried to grow a tree outside and I couldn't even grow it in regular soil. Careful. Oh, it's actually push the crouch, not hold the crouch. Okay. Run, on the other hand. No, it's still, it's click to run. You don't have to hold it down. For a second, I thought it was the opposite. Now you gotta go down the ladder. These are always a little difficult. Let's see, how are we gonna... Eh? 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 This doesn't feel right, like... No! <laughs> Stupid ladders! Well, that's annoying. Like, how far back am I? Is the power still on, or do I have to turn the power on again? Let's see here. Oh, I gotta do the power all over again. Oh, that's dumb. Stupid ladders, man. They will mess you up. What the? 
I just um, went through the wall while climbing the ladder. Ladders, man, I tell you. You never know what to expect with them. I need to practice going down the ladder before I uh, do everything up here. Because all I need to do is fall again. Like, I thought something wasn't right. But I'm like, maybe that's just the way the ladder works. What if we go down it like... Ah, maybe it's because I spun around like I was actually grabbing the ladder. You, they just want you to walk at it, I guess. Like, Oh, wait. Now I can't move. I literally cannot move. There we go. Well, I think I, think I got it. So, let's try this again. Grab my uh, crowbar. I believe there's two more enemies, right? Yeah. Okay. That should be all of them. Just real careful on this part again. Jump. There we go. The music's still playing. Maybe I missed one of them. Or maybe I just killed them so fast. I don't know. Squeaky spooky door. Hurry up. Click. For the longest time, I can never remember when you're turning something on and it has a power switch like that. I would always get, I would always blank out, is zero or one on? Like, it was always so hard. And then, then I actually started learning about computers and I was like, oh, well, binary data, a one means it has a signal to it. So there you go. One of those things where it's like, I mean, when I was like really young, you know, like, you know, I, I don't know, like when I was young and I would always, like, you'd have a power strip for your Nintendo and stuff. See, it's so strange. I was born in 94, but I grew up in an NES. Being poor, man, gives you a, a weird history. Like, like it's, it's, it's just strange, isn't it? If you think about it. How did I grow up on an NES when I was born in 94? I, I don't know. And I mean, like, real young. Like, um, uh, like probably six-ish. But yeah, there was always a power strip I'd plug into. And I, I always remember I could never figure out which way to do it. And then even for a long time, I st I would always mess it up every now and then. But once I finally kind of was, you know, really doing computer stuff and you learn, oh, well, binary data is zero is a uh, nothing. One is has electricity, basically. What the? Fear me. I shoot bullets out of this thing. That's weird. It only makes sounds on the boxes. And I hit the box through this. I mean, I guess you kind of can because this looks like it'd be a flexible wall, but still. Am I supposed to jump? No, this fall damage. You ain't jumping nowhere. <laughs> I'm just letting this thing go. Unless it, like, falls and uh, breaks apart and then I realize, oh, I should have jumped. I hope it doesn't do that. That would piss me off. That box is hitting. There's an invisible wall right here and the box is getting hit by it. I can tell. I wonder when this thing... Stops. Will that box keep momentum or will it stop too? I think it's gonna stop. Okay, it stopped and the box keeps going. Goodbye, box. Nice knowing you. Alright, gotta do some jumping. Oh, goodness. If I not miss these jumps, I'm screwed, it looks like. I hate the platforming. It's always scary. Platforming's scary because, you know, if you make a mistake, you're dead. It's that simple. Why does it make that noise? Just in case you couldn't hear it. Like, I, I don't get that. Oh, apparently these buttons don't work. Great. Ah, here's a button. Well, at least my headache is gone. Is that my guy's internal thought? or Like, I didn't hear a voice, so maybe... Huh, I don't know. I don't know if that's internal thought or if it's like somebody speaking to him, but they didn't have a voiceover. I guess it's internal thought. So this is one of those psyche games, you know, all in your head. That explains why the flashlight sounds like Half-Life. Wait a minute. How do I have the flashlight and the weapon at the same time? I just now realized... That I have them both at the same time. And I'm not exactly sure how I managed to do that. Like I'm afraid to switch back and forth. Because I don't think you're supposed to be able to do this. So if I switch I'd probably lose the ability to have both at the same time. I gotta look back in the video and figure out when that actually happened. Because I 
This might have been going on a long time and I just didn't realize it. Those are some big gears. Like, those are massive. And they're not even doing anything. They're just, they're missing. What's up with that? Oh! I think I was supposed to jump. Or not. Maybe I'm okay here. Do I... Am I actually controlling this, or...? I don't think I'm really controlling this. I think I just kind of fall with gravity. Maybe I have a little bit of a control. It's hard to tell. Huh. Either way, I don't think I'm dead because the last time I died, it was just game over. This one, at least stuff's happening, so I think we're good to go still. Although we might just fall at the end and then we say, game over, you fell like a thousand feet. What a strange dream. What's going on here? Ah, see, it is a dream. It's all in my head. Hmm. That is not a U.S. style socket. This is not in the U.S. I can tell you that now. Alright, so we got our weapon stuff still. Don't know how I had both at the same time. Can't do it again. Got another button. Oh, the arm turned green. I, I guess that's good. Yeah? Good. I don't know. Can't seem to interact with anything here, so let's just... uh. Whoa, a little bit of a frame drop for some reason. That was strange. Oh, look. Do not go there. Welcome. Well, he's pointing that way, so don't go there. Got it. I can't. Anyways, the door's locked. So we'll go this way. Thanks for the warm welcome. Really nice. Oh, look at the chairs. They're floating. Yeah. Strike. It's like bowling, man. Oh, goodness. I can't get to the door now. Crouch. Stupid chairs. Next door. Look at all these heads there. What is this? Enhanced color like a paint can or something? That looks like just some cleaning style thing. Okay. I'm waiting for the enemies. I know there'll be more eventually. Oh, uh, what the heck? I can't uncrouch. There we go. That was weird. Like, yeah, really long delay. It's kind of weird. It looks like, actually, you can't jump immediately after you land. Like, it's jump, clicking, 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 and then there's like a delay. I got to remember that when I'm platforming because that could kill me. Like, if I just go jump, jump, and it don't jump, I'm screwed. Uh oh, music. That means they're enemies. You know, I'm kind of curious. How do they appear? Do they just appear out of nowhere? Or... Oh, this is lame. Look at this. I could just sit here. These ones don't even look like they want to harm you. Will they? Yes, they will. This guy, he don't know what he's doing. He's stuck. Kind of curious though, how they appeared. Like, do they just poof? They're there. Behind my back? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to mess around with it later, I think. I'll uh, maybe reload the level just to see. Like, I might have to play the whole game again, though. I don't know. Oh, well. I'd rather not die. That's the thing. Platforming. This is when I got to remember that jump delay. Whoa! Okay, apparently only two of the boards work. I guess you can't fall, but it's there to scare you. Why did my weapon go away? Oh, I started to climb a ladder. Well, okay, let's climb the ladder then. Crouching! Grab it! I don't like that. When you have to go around a corner like that to grab a ladder, those are... Those are iffy, you know? Uh, I guess... Can I jump that? Oh, I could jump this, can't I? That's better. That seems a lot easier than jumping across it. That looked like a little bit of a gap. Oh, uncrouched too soon. What is this? 14. Okay. Is that what, like, level I'm on? I feel like I've been climbing for a while. If I fall, I'm dead. I mean, I've already fallen and died once, so... Don't want to do that multiple times. 
What are all the cleaners and stuff about for? Hey, can I pick it up? No. Wait, maybe I can. No. Let's see, if I turn my flashlight off, can I read it? Nah, the lighting is just wacky on that thing. Like, it actually is generating light, it looks like. Doesn't it? You see, there's like the uh, lens flares looking thing coming off of it. Kind of weird. We gotta jump. No problem. Alright. Another button. I'm starting to notice that I was getting better. Yeah, we are. Another button. Elevator. Not loading screen. So now I have my flashlight. So when it switches levels, it changes your weapon out. Oh. Hit the button. I don't think it does anything. Again, this is not English. 28. All right, we're at floor 28. Oh, hear music. Rawr, rawr. I swear the hit detection's just weird. Whoa. Flying boxes, huh? Hey, you know you're missing your side. Like, just so you know. Is there any more? I think that's all of them. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah, it's all of them. Sorry. I accidentally hit the uh, lower raise volume button because the game was so loud with the music, I thought it was on the whole time, in which case I would have had to do some uh, manual editing. I just got to turn my actual volume down a bit. There we go. That's a bit better. Because that was loud. And it was even louder when I hit the button. Um. Anyways, let's see. Jump. Jump. Oh. Okay, I can't reach. We'll move the box and then jump. Uh, not quite. Can they lift boxes up? Ah, there we go. We'll put it like this. That's ah, not going to stay. Maybe we just make a big old pile of boxes and then it'll work. Box after box, something crazy. Kind of have to be weird. It's like kind of weird. The box is sort of delayed following you, so you have to be like kind of slow moving them, it feels like. Come on. Oh. Come on. More boxes then. You see that one? I grabbed it and it just I moved too fast, I guess. This is going to take a while, isn't it? There, wait. Maybe like this. Right, here we go. No, that's not high enough, really? I mean, just make a pile. I don't care. Just pile them. Ah, come on. How oh, annoying. Wait, that that's it. There we go. Come on. Oh, really? I have a stack getting built, though. I just put one more box on there, and we're good. See, except moving the boxes is... Like, he keeps dropping it. You notice, like, he pulls out the weapon when he's trying to push it forward, and he just drops the box. Maybe you have to, like, pull it behind you and sideways. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Climb. Come on, jump. There we go. Whoa. That was weird. Okay. Made it. Oh, and of course I get fall damage. Wait, go down. I guess it wants me to put stuff there. All right, we can do this. Move the tire. Is this even doing anything? I'm really not sure. I don't, I don't think this is, wait, maybe a little bit. Maybe we need heavier things like the box. Uh, yeah, it's moving. More boxes. It's a good thing uh, somebody left all these boxes just laying about. You can kind of fling them actually. Like, as long as you don't pull them forward or push them forward, you can actually kind of maneuver them. 
If you like try to pick it up and walk forward, it didn't seem to work out well, at least on the other side. Is that enough stuff yet? No. Maybe I need to put it more on the edge or let's just shove everything on it and see if that does it. And then I'll actually worry about the positioning. All right, so everything I can grab is now on there, sort of. There we go. And I think it's supposed to maybe open up eventually. We just got to push things more towards the edge. I see it slowly tilting more. Just keep moving them in. Come on. Can't fit through there. Oh, no. I dropped the box. Oh, they're all falling in. Oh, wait. I'm falling in. Okay. All right. Oh, fun times over here. Can I, uh, no, I can't do anything there. Open this door. And then some words I don't understand. Bet it's going to be something evil. Rawr. No. Hey, that's a pretty big uh, warning for something so small. What is this? Yeah, I guess you can open any of the doors, which might have something in them. Question is, which ones will? Like, it kind of sucks. You either have your flashlight. Ooh, there's a guy in there. Let's not open the doors. You either have the flashlight or the weapon. It's up here. Trying to go vertical. I can't use it. There's no electricity. Hmm. Okay. What about over here? Like, I can't even really tell where I'm going. Oh, there's a key. Oh. I just knocked that whole thing over grabbing the key. I am so clumsy. So maybe the uh, go to the happy fun time area and then the electricity will come back. Oh, it's a different uh, style like electricity thing over here than the other one. The other one I had like a little switch that I pulled with my hand. All right, so we have lights now, so I can open up the cabinets and start whooping on people without a fear. I don't know if I need to bother, though, because I don't think it's necessary. Instead, we just hit the button. Left or right, left or right, right. Last time I went left, it was pointless, so we're going right. Oh, another button. My torso is better. It looks kind of weird how dark it is right there. Like, that just looks unnaturally dark, doesn't it? I don't know. Guess we go this way now, maybe. Because I didn't see anything else over there. 30. Oh, and the door that pushes me. Okay, uh... What? That was unexpected. And loading. And I'm outside with some trees. Okay. Sorry, I was uh, having a coughing fit, so I just kind of had to wait right there. So there's my uh, very Russian-ish looking car, and I think what I'm supposed to do is probably follow these footsteps, but, uh, well, you can't tell YBR what to do, so we're doing it this way. Just to see. Okay, looks like it just kind of fades to nothingness. How far does it go? Just kind of curious how far it'll go. looks uh, like it'll just keep going and going and going and huh 
Oh, I died. Let's not go that way. Oh, we gotta watch this little, uh, I'm on the ground bit again. Waking up from my car crash. Like, how did I even hit that tree? Like, there's no skin marks or nothing, was there? Uh, oh, wait, maybe there was. Yeah, there was skin marks. Just seems like I just... Looks like I went towards the tree, though, don't it? What's this? You can open up the trunk, but ain't nothing there. So let's go the way I think you're supposed to go this time, which is following the footsteps. Hmm. No more footsteps. Am I supposed to... Ah, I gotta get a uh, ticket. Does that even... Okay, apparently that works. I wish I could read that. <laughs> Hit the button, okay. Ooh, he's all green. That's good stuff. Huh? Guess you're not supposed to go this way because I can't go that way. I don't think I'm supposed to... Maybe I'm just supposed to go on the train tracks. Oh no, there's a train coming. Don't do that. Let me on you. Stop. I want this door. I want the next door. Hello? Oh. Apparently I have to be so close to it for the doors to operate. Okay. I'm on a train now. Is this the same train from the start? Let's see if we could find the name. We can compare it, maybe. Can't find the name. Unity News. Planners, stop. Like, that is just a uh, very strange asset to have in this location. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it has importance or anything. Weird. I, I oh, everything's going white. And now I'm back at a. I can't really tell if there's a hospital or a guy's house that he happens to have medical equipment in. Cause that looks like one of those things they hang the uh, IVs on and stuff, or the uh, the liquids for the IVs. Can't move my head, by the way. It's doing it automatic. Is that it? Oh, okay. I guess, um... That's it. Interesting. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to get out of this game, though. I, I, I really don't know if it was like trying to give you a story that just went over my head. Like, maybe... He cra He was going. I I don't know. Like I can kind of try to piece something together, but it's pure guess. So he was in his car. He crashed into a tree, and he took a ticket to heaven because he died. But then what's the rest of it for? I I don't know. Like what were the buttons and stuff? I don't know. That, that's it. That's that's truly it. Okay. Which was the level? Where they just appeared. I think it was this or this. Try this one. Oh, what? Oh, we have to pick the name, not the picture. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one where they just kind of appeared. I was wondering how they appeared. Don't throw your heads on me. They gotta wait, jump, wait, jump. Alright, so the section I was thinking of should be like right here. So we're just going to spin around. Flashlight on. They just kind of appear. You see, they just, boop, we're here. I'm on your head. Oh, wow, that actually works. Oh, sort of. 
And they killed me. Oh well. Uh, anyways, that will be all for this game. I uh, don't really have anything else I can do with it. I think that's the game. I don't quite get it, unfortunately. Oh well. Till next time then, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.